If you want to grow your channel and get monetized, then you need 4,000 hours of watch time. And that's a lot. So today I'm going to show you how to get 4,000 watch time hours fast using a watch time loop. Stay tuned. Bowen Video! Hey, welcome back to the channel where every week you'll get a new video that will help you to become a full-time YouTuber. I'm Owen Video and today we're going to talk about watch time loops. A watch time loop is a systematic approach to making videos that do two things. Making videos that get viewers to watch for longer periods of time, but also making videos that viewers will watch back to back to back. We call this binge watching. You know you've watched The Office like 16 times. So you want to make sure that every video that you create on your channel, you're making it with a watch time loop. Here's how you do that. Step one is go inside YouTube Studio and click on your analytics. Your goal is to find your most watchable videos to date. Here's how. Inside of analytics, click on advanced mode. Then scroll down to the bottom where you see your top videos and click on watch time. Make sure that the date is set to the last 28 days. Analytics will rearrange your videos with your most watched videos up at the top. What you want to do is make more videos like this. Remember, don't look at your views at this point. Only pay attention to your watch time because those are the videos that people are watching. Are you tracking with me, Turbo? Because that brings us to step number two, which is to create a run of show or an ROS. A run of show is a systematic way of creating videos that eliminate the fluff, keep you from rambling, and help you to move the video from beginning to end without losing any viewers. Every single news station, television studio, radio, and film use an ROS to get the viewer to watch longer periods of the video using watch time psychology. Here's an example. This is a YouTube ROS template that we use for creating all of our videos and we use it for all of our client channels as well. Now, you can download your own copy of this ROS and edit it and augment it just for your channel by going to the link that's in your description box now and downloading it for free. When we look at the ROS, the first page here is really just an information page where you can put the video title, you can paste your thumbnail, and pre-write your descriptions and tags. We're going to kind of skip through this for right now. And I want to bring your attention over here to the main ROS, the main run of show. You'll see that there's multiple sections for the ROS and they function like a checklist. Now, everything that I've written in here is really just a template to help get your wheels greased. You can, of course, delete all of this and write in what you think is effective. But let's take a look at the main parts of the ROS. You have a hook. Then you play your bumper, followed by your branded intro. Then you have your setup, followed by a pattern interrupt. And if you're not sure what a pattern interrupt is, this is a pattern interrupt. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. That was also a pattern interrupt. Now let's get back to it. Then you have the main sections of your video, which should be divided into three to five bullet points. Attention interrupt, also known as a cliffhanger, followed by your conclusion and your close. Now, I know a lot of that sounds confusing, so be sure to download the ROS and watch the training that goes along with it. But here are the three big points that every YouTube video should include in order to keep your viewers watching. Number one is a hook. And the hook is the first 15 seconds of your video, maybe even less, where you capture people's attention and move into the video quickly. Here's a couple examples. There's a new tool for YouTubers that just hit the scene and I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna show you the interface and all of that. And we're starting right now. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video today. We're editing, we're editing photos. We're gonna take something that looks like this and make it look like this. The next part of your ROS that will keep viewers watching is your setup. And this is 30 to 45 seconds. You want to get into your content early, so keep it short, keep it simple, and include a tease 
that will keep your viewers watching till the end. And then finally, the meat of your video. This is your main body of content. And as you're sketching out what you're gonna say for this portion of your video, make sure that you don't ramble or you're gonna lose viewers. Just lost another one. Finally, step three, and this is the most important step of the whole video. If you didn't watch this far of the video, pointless, pointless. And I feel bad for you, sucka. Step three is to create content silos. When you create content silos, you're creating binge watchable series for your channel and this is exactly how the YouTube algorithm works. So for example, you're looking at a picture of my good friend, Christina Smallhorn, who makes her videos this exact same way. Now, when she started making her videos, she was only getting about 200 to 300 views on a video. But after she started using the content silo structure, you can see that her videos got up to 500,000 views and even more. Way to go, Christina Smallhorn. So let's take a look at how the algorithm works, okay? When you're watching a main video on YouTube here, the algorithm is gonna suggest for you a video to watch in the up next section here. Now, there's lots of little ways to get your video to rank up there, but there are two big things that YouTube looks for. Number one, they're looking for videos on the same content topic, also known as a content silo. And number two, the first place they look is your channel. So by creating multiple videos on the same topic, you are increasing your chances of getting your video in the up next section here. But there's also a lower section here where your videos can rank. This is called the recommended video section. So when you create videos on your channel using the content silo structure, you're creating videos that a viewer can binge watch. Think of it like a candy store. You go into the candy store and then you see this silo of green jelly beans and everything in that silo is a green jelly bean. But right next to it is a blue jelly bean and the red jelly beans and so on and so forth. That's exactly how you wanna be making your videos. Here's a few examples of how you could be building a content silo strategy. If you're a gaming channel and most of the videos that you're doing are on Fortnite, then that is one silo and you wanna have multiple videos each on Fortnite. But you also wanna create a second silo on Minecraft with lots of videos on Minecraft and maybe a third on Roblox. If you're a real estate channel and you're making videos on how to buy a home in Dallas, Texas, that's one silo. But you probably wanna create a second silo that covers financing and maybe even a third silo that covers the hot spots in Dallas, Texas. Is this starting to make sense? Good, because the last bonus point that I have for you is always link out to another video at the end of every video you make, just like this video here. And if you wanna keep learning about watch time and how to grow your channel, then watch the video that you see on your screen about the biggest watch time mistakes that small YouTubers make. You're gonna love it. It's one of the top videos on my channel. I'm Owen Video, click on this video now and I'll see you there.